NASA Administrator Jim Bradenstein has said that India's anti-satellite missile test increased the dangers for astronauts aboard the International Space Station by 44%. A few days ago, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India had successfully tested an anti-satellite missile and destroyed a low-orbiting microsatellite. The mission was called Shakti. It had put India in an elite club with only three other countries in the world having that capability. The NASA administrator said that such tests, which cause risk to human lives in space, were unacceptable, adding that they were a terrible thing. However, he did not make a direct reference to India's test. Here's what he said. Here's what we know about the most recent direct ascent anti-satellite test that was done by India. We know that we have identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from that one event. That's what's been identified. Now all of that cannot be tracked. What we are tracking right now, objects big enough to track, we're talking about 10 centimeters or bigger, about, about 60 pieces have been tracked. In other words, they've got a tracking number and, and we're able to keep, keep up with where they are. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible, terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. And that kind of activity is not compatible with the future of human space flight that we need to see have happen. Now, this particular quote has been pulled out of context by the media. Bradenstein may have highlighted the risks of the ASAT test, but he also said that despite the risks, the astronauts in the space station were safe. The NASA administrator said that it was a good thing that debris was low enough in the Earth's orbit. He added that the ISS or the International Space Station does not need to be maneuvered as the debris will eventually dissipate. Earlier, India had, to sought, had sought to allay the fears of adding to the space debris problem. India's foreign ministry had assured that the test was in low Earth orbit and that the remnants would decay and fall back to the Earth within weeks. It is a three-stage BMD interceptor missile. Actually, that whole talk has to be seen. So, you know, the news is sensational when you give a nice title. The same talk. The NASA administrator has said, uh, this is Sarah Levin's report, the good thing, it is low enough in the orbit that over time this will all dissipate, whereas much of the debris from the 2000 Chinese anti-satellite test is still in orbit. I don't know whether the last one he said or not, the earlier one is, much of it will be dissipated. Another thing, same article, Bernstein added later, despite this increased risk the astronauts are still safe and the International Space Station will be maneuvered if needed to avoid the debris, though it is unlikely that this will be necessary. Okay. This is a thing, actually it's a very small thing. India has chosen the more or less the same orbit which US did on US-193 in February 2008. The same 250 kilometers, it's very tough to do it there. But it will go off in a few weeks. It will be out. Meanwhile, a day after India conducted those tests, the United States had said that it has taken note of the debris generated and assurances given thereof by India to properly handle the matter. A statement issued by the U.S. State Department said the issue of space debris is an important concern for the U.S. government. We took note of the Indian government statements that the test was designed to address space debris issues. With Mission Shakti, India is now among the world's advanced space powers and is only the fourth country after US, Russia and China with the strategic capability to hit and destroy satellites. And to delve deeper into the multiple aspects of that story, uh, we are now joined in on the broadcast by Ramesh Kapoor, an astronomer and former professor at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, uh, joining us from Bengaluru. Thanks very much uh, for speaking with us here on Beyond. First up, do NASA's comments seem surprising to you after what the U.S. government had said? The U.S. government had raised no explicit concern or objection to India's ASAP test. 
whenever there is a hit of this kind, there will be a large number of uh, space debris. And as we know that uh, space debris uh, of the size between 1 and 10 centimeter may be numbering more than a million as of now. So those are genuine uh, concerns because uh, now space and outer space uh, is somewhat more active because of the various kind of uh, uh, satellites and uh, space programs uh, that are being undertaken. But as it was stated by India that it was a low earth orbit hit which means it was less than 300 kilometers and a large number of debris uh, would have entered the uh, Earth's atmosphere as we say re-entry. Uh, that would have happened and a large number of them would have already uh, been passed through the uh, atmosphere of the Earth, heated up and then burnt out. It's, and uh, its number of debris would have also gone to the higher uh, Earth orbits also. And as we know that International, International Space Station uh, goes around the Earth from a height of about 400 kilometers. So a concern is certainly genuine because there are human beings there uh, in the space station. However, India has taken sufficient precaution and uh, obviously if at all any debris would have gone to higher Earth orbits would have been smaller in number. And it's true that the debris that go in higher orbits uh, compared to 300 kilometers height uh, will take a much longer time to eventually fall back uh, to the atmosphere of the Earth and then get burnt out. Right, so does this seem like an attempt to undermine India's feet and stature to you uh, by any way? To some extent, yes, because it's not that we are the people who have dirtied the space for the first time and then somebody is t uh, wanting to take us to task. But NASA is a genuine scientific agency and reaction from there is, uh, is measured and I think it's not, uh, we should uh, uh, not look at it in such a negative sense. What do you then make of NASA's charge that the risk to the International Space Station uh, increased by 44%? Uh, they make certain calculations and then on, on them they calculate the probability of a hit, of a possible hit. And uh, for any object which is uh, say 10 centimeters or larger in size, their orbits are uh, found out and they remain known and they form part of a uh, data. So to a certain extent, although it raises the probability of a hit, but uh, uh, that is certainly finite. It cannot be said to be zero. But 44% uh, as the same is their calculation. In actual life, we, as you see, uh, there is a very large number of space debris up there and it's not that all the satellites are placed in orbits below uh, 400 kilometers. A large number of them, whether they are in the polar uh, circular orbit, they are placed in 500, 600 or 800 kilometers orbits. So the rockets that take them, their uh, pieces also float around in the space. They seek their own orbits and then they slowly, their orbits decay and uh, in a finite uh, period of time.